what is next for Texas? Now, Steve Sarkeesian, of course, has already started off uh, with the, the Nick Saban mantra of, you know, the Longhorns must avoid rat poison of their sudden praise and whatnot. And there are a lot of people that are talking very highly about Texas right now. But my goodness, you have got uh, just a slew of injuries. Three of the four quarterbacks are hurt. Uh, Hudson Card may be able to play, but man, hey, he's hobbled. He was he was already injured and was still on the field against Alabama. So that was a bit of a situation there. Uh, Bijan Robinson, shoulder injury, of course, was getting MRIs. Now, I don't know what the uh, final result of those is, uh, but obviously he's got some kind of an injury. You, the defensive back, Deshaun Jamison, I mean, my gosh, uh, just you, you've got dudes that are hurt all over the place. And one of the issues when you play against Alabama is always, will it hurt you the next week, right? If Texas has issues, it's going to be a problem this week because they're playing UTSA. Now, Jeff Trailer came out. He said uh, that he watched the Longhorn Crimson Tide tape and said, in my opinion, I'm not sure the best team won that day. Texas outplayed them. Now, obviously, when you are scheduled to play this team that week, you are going to speak glowingly. This is an old coach's trick. They've done it forever, forever, right? The line opened at 14. It's down to 11 and a half. Like that's, or excuse me, open 13 and a half. It's down to 11. So two and a half points of movement. Um, part of that has to do with injuries. Part of that has to do with the situation because Texas really put up a fight against the number one team in the country. But look at this from Matt Brown. Congrats to Texas for becoming the ninth unranked team to lose a heartbreaker to the AP number one by a single point. Surprisingly, none of the previous eight teams went on to finish ranked. Now, North Carolina did it against Clemson, Minnesota against Penn State, Arizona against Miami, Kansas against Oklahoma, USC against Iowa, Mississippi State against LSU, Colorado against Oklahoma, and Minnesota against Michigan. The majority of these are a uh, long time ago. North Carolina did it recently during the COVID season against Clemson, but you got to hope that Texas doesn't lose the locker room again. They did this last year in putting up an amazing fight against Oklahoma. And Sark has talked openly about just losing the locker room after that because they put everything they had into that one game and were not able to get them back after that. Is this team different? Now, you could venture out to say that eh, this wasn't necessarily an unranked team. They were ranked in the um, they were ranked in the coaches poll, etc. Right? There's a lot there, but it, it's I, I'm curious to see what they're going to do, what they're going to look like because they put a lot of guts into that game last week against Alabama. And we got to figure out exactly what's going to happen. You know, I, I want to know what their resolve is. What, what do they look like? Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.